Dude, Ronald Reagan, the actor, is never going to be president. Hey, it's done said. The times they are a changing. You never know. I don't know. Oh, dude, this thing is so ace. How, I know, did, you, right? how did you land this? Yeah, well, I bought it off a guy. Um, he bought it two years ago. I mean, he was a bit of a weird dude, though. He said the engine is perfectly balanced, as all things should be. I don't know what he's talking about, but you know me. I like a good deal. Yeah, well, it's sweet. Oh, this is cool. Pretty good, right? Yeah. What's that? What's what? This. I have no idea. Where did you find that? It's just in the middle. Oh. You know what this reminds me of? What? The, uh... What just happened? What is this thing? What is this thing? Give me that. I, I don't know. You know. There's there's more down here. Yeah. What are these things? I don't know. What did you do? You you you, you clicked. Yeah, I, I snapped. Oh, Thomas. What? I don't feel so good. It was almost a decade ago when the last rabbit rolled off of the production line. And since then, the world's experienced Honey Boo Boo, Green Lantern, and we had to say goodbye to Harambe. Coincidence? I don't think so. But worry not. Because it's back and in glorious cornflower blue. <laughs> This year, the GTI gets the rabbit treatment. We will cover the details of what that means in a bit, but right now, all you need to know is that this is as pure a GTI as ever. Front wheel drive, practical storage, subtle good looks, and accessible performance. To this day, it is the go-to hot hatch, and we want to find out if the rabbit brings anything special to the GTI lineup. So, the rabbit. Let's get down to it. So what's different about the 2019 GTI? Well, it has way more horsepower. In fact, if you had a dollar for every extra horsepower that they put in this for 2019, you would have $8. All right, the rabbit, eight more horsepower. Feels good. Obviously it's a turbocharged engine, right? So there's a very minute amount of lag, but Honestly, nowadays, these turbo engines are so good that it doesn't matter, and the, the power delivery is incredibly smooth, and it sounds good. Definitely some synthetic noises coming in here, but it actually sounds good. A little bit of exhaust note, good induction noise. I like the, the, the experience of putting my foot down. So yes, the two liter, 228 horsepower, intercooled turbo motor pulls nicely, even in third gear on the highway but it's not a foreign concept for people to drop a tune into a GTI, and I expect that will happen with this as well. So is it quick as is? Yes. Can it be quicker? Yes. I think it's pretty great, to be honest. When I was living in England before I came here, I was actually running a Mark 7, so this is a very expectable amount of power for me. The power in this car feels very natural to me. It's very GTI, it's not over the top. There's always the R trim if you want extra power. For general living, and this is something we're probably going to reiterate a lot today, this car wins. So this is the DSG. I would get the manual, but the DSG is exalted by golf enthusiasts. For good reason. It is very, very fast. The downshifts especially are really, really good. It does a really good job of staying out of your way when you don't want it, and a really good job of making you have fun when you do want it. The only thing that I don't like about it is that on the upshift, it doesn't really snap down into the next gear the way that I feel like it should. It kind of goes down into the gear almost as if it was a like an old torque converter. Here, you can listen. This is me shifting up from second to third. It kind of goes, it, it doesn't, it's not as crisp as I want it to be, but otherwise, it is a perfect transmission. All right, so I'm going to put it into sport mode. So one of the reasons you get the rabbit is because of the adaptive suspension that the base doesn't have. So throwing around these corners, and I've got to be a little bit careful because it's slippery today. It just feels very planted. And you know, we joked about in the intro today that this car has perfect balance, and it, but it does. The Golf has always had that ability to be jack of all trades. 
but not master of none. It is master of a few things. Yes, the GTI does a very good job of balancing comfort and performance. But this year, all GTIs are master of one important thing. This rabbit and all GTIs now have that GTI LSD that only used to come in the top trims. The reason that you want an LSD and the reason that all GTIs should come with an LSD being the GTI is because an open differential, when you put your foot down in the corner, it will just spin the inside wheel, which causes you to understeer and doesn't actually put the power down in the corner. Now what happens in a corner is if you put your foot down, it's going to put power to the outside tire which allows you to actually get the power down in the corner, and it feels like it's pulling the car in towards the apex, which is good and better than an open differential. So I do have driving modes, and I'll put it in sport, which changes everything, the steering, the drive system, the front differential lock, the adaptive lights, the climate control, and the engine sound. And honestly, the car goes from being very, very civilized to actually quite engaging in a corner. The steering is good, it's very sharp, very GTI, just enough weight in the front end that it's it's fine. Actually, I like the steering in this more than the last GTI that I drove, and I'm not sure if that's an improvement or I'm just noticing it differently now. But I can tell you that, yeah, this is a fun car to drive. This is a fun car to drive. Right, and it looks as fun as it is to drive. Yes. How many colors are there? Four colors, black, white, gray, blue. This is the cornflower blue. This is the only one to have. 100% the car. I'm not even like a bright car guy, but I would get this. Not really a bright guy either. This is coming from the guy who has a summer tired Miata as his winter car. I live on the edge. <laughs> you live on the edge of the road is where you live. <laughs> These are LEDs. Yeah, they're standard for GTIs and, and adaptive they look, lighting. They look awesome. Yeah, and then also standard is the big brakes from the R. Yes. And then the rabbit stuff is the uh, black 18 inch alloys, the black wing mirror housing and the black spoiler. Just the whole thing and this is little meep. I don't know, actually. I think the whole thing. This is a bit of a little Yeah. Um, rabbit logo, so good. Standard fare. Yeah, the standard fare. Seats fold. Folds things. Should we do the interior? Yes. Let's do it. All right. It's nice in here, too, right? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. There's a few crimes that have been committed, though. Okay, let's do those or, first. Or that yeah. haven't been removed yet. Haven't been removed, okay. The amount of piano black. Yes. Including on the, the non-electronic handbrake. This is a manual handbrake. But on an automatic car. Doesn't matter. It always feels, manual it, handbrake. If weird, you can though. manual handbrake, always manual handbrake. I, know, I feel like there's a point of contention there. <laughs> the piano black is annoying. There's so much of it. There is. It's it, everywhere. Yeah, it's like, calm down, VW. <laughs> this doesn't have the digital gauge cluster. No. Which the European ones do. Yes. I think that's to save money for the North American audience. I will say, though, like it's not cheap. Not cheap. The car itself, you yeah. Mean. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's specced out at 37 Canadian. That is so much so money. So for that much money, I would That's used I would, M2 money. That's you're, how, that's, you're not thinking of it like a GTI. That's how I always see everything, is used <laughs> every, M2 everything money. Everything is how much can I buy an <laughs> how M2 How much can I buy an M2 for? No, I do that. The steering wheel is fantastic. But also, a crime has been committed. What? what? What's the temperature outside today? It is negative 10. Right? I got in this morning, there's no heated steering Oh, that's right, there's no heated steering no wheel. No heated steering wheel. Heated seats are nice, and they're cloth. With the seats, by the way, are awesome. I love these things. The plaid. I think it's so cool. Yeah. Well, you know what? So cool. Tesla bastardized plaid by by having the speed on the Roadster. They call it plaid. Oh but yes. For me, this is plaid. This is plaid. This, this is, is will always be plaid. the plaid yes. I associate with cars. Um. Anyway, like everything's within reach. I like the infotainment quite a lot, actually. I've been fiddling around with it. It's the same as in the Touareg. Yeah. It does the thing where you put your hand and it pops up, and you know, like everything is there. All the information is there that you need. I do wish there were hard buttons though along the side, but you have a hard like, volume they're, knob. They're and the a hard, hard ones that matter, like the climate control and the volume control. Part. Yes, and we've got a physical heated seat button, which yeah, is these nice. heated seats are amazing, by the way. They get really I hot. I turn them down. Yeah, 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 yeah. they're awesome. They're hotter I mean, than Hansel. Otherwise. The, <laughs> He is so hot right now. He's so hot. He's um, always so hot. Yeah. So these uh, these seats are yeah powered slash not powered, right? Yes, they're a mixture. They, they're a mixture, they recline yeah. powered, but yeah, they are. That's right. But I mean, like they get the job done. I, I I don't mind mechanical seats to be honest. Yeah. No sunroof. How do you feel about that, Mr. So, James? <laughs> so the, this is the rabbit. The Mr. rabbit James. doesn't get a sunroof. James loves sunroofs, everyone. I love sunroofs. Okay. I love sunroofs. And why do we not have a sunroof in this? And why the is it rabbit, better? The rabbit spec without it, as is the uh, as is the R. But why like, is it better? To have a sunroof. To not have a sunroof. I don't know. More headroom and you're a, you're a dark guy. You like dark things. <laughs> no, because of helmets. And you can autocross this car and it would be a fun autocross slash track car. This is why you'd buy the Rabbit. I would buy the Rabbit because it's the one in the middle that's not as much money. The cloth seats, no sunroof, so you can put a helmet on. 
And I don't know. You know, you know what sells me on the rabbit? What? This is really stupid. I love the blue. You, you just you think, can't get this blue. He's been talking about it nonstop. I love it. Months he's been talking about it. Just them. makes me happy. It is. Me? It is a really good blue. Yeah. This is a good interior. I have no problems with it. Very classically Volkswagen. The fit and finish is amazing. Like the way that everything just fits together. That's why you buy a Volkswagen because they do that part. It's a German car in general. That's what they they, they do that so well. Yeah. I think it's great. I'm gonna sit in the back seat really quick. Fine back here too. Yeah. Ooh, the seats say rabbit on them. They do. That's cool. No, I'm fine back here. I have all this space that I need. Lots of headroom too, actually. Yeah? Yeah. There's but a reason why you always would just buy a Golf or recommend a Golf, because it just does everything well. Is this interior a win? It's a win. It's a win. And so is the driving. Okay, we're back in the car. So as I said, I would probably spec one out with a sunroof, which means, unfortunately, that counts me out for the rabbit edition. Which is a shame because I actually really love the rabbit pedigree and, and the cornflower blue. So for me, my spec, I'd go for the Autobahn. Just for those that don't know, the Rabbit sits between the base and the Autobahn in Canada and between the S and the SE in the US. I think I'm a little bit different than James. I would most definitely take this Rabbit. I would intentionally buy a car without the sunroof so I have room for a helmet. And I would get the one that has the adaptive dampers and all the sporty stuff without getting the cheapest one or the most expensive one. I think this is the sweet spot for the Rabbit. And I would happily own this car, drive it every day, and do some autocross and track stuff with it on the weekends. All in all, 2019 GTI Rabbit absolutely does what it says on the box. I love this car. I want to take this home. I don't normally say that about cars that we test. So as expected, the GTI continues to impress. And the return of the Rabbit nameplate is a cool decision by VW. It's a playful name that perfectly offsets the seriousness of its performance and comfort. Now, make sure you subscribe because Throttle House is going to continue bringing you fun intros, car reviews, and versus videos. Oh, and in the summertime, track tests.